So it turns out nature has already provided us with the best chemical detector, and that is the dog's nose. So this is Bubbles. She's a 3D printed, anatomically correct model of a female Labrador retriever. We tried to get one of the police canines to come in here and get in front of the mirror, but dogs get hungry and cranky very quickly. And we got about four seconds of good footage. And I'm like, okay, we can do better than this. And what I want you to notice is this pulsating motion by the, um, by the, we'll call it the doggy treat, right? This is our doggy treat. If you notice this pulsating motion, when the dog exhales, there's a turbulent air jet that comes out of each nostril. Just like when you and I exhale. If you put your hand under here and just exhale out of your nose, those are two turbulent air jets coming out of the dog's nose. But when the dog is down on the ground, those air jets are vectored back towards its rear. The dog is pushing air back, and when, by doing that, it's pulling air from ahead of it. So imagine me blowing air this way, and when I do that, I actually reach out and pull air towards me. The dog reverses flow, inhales, right? Gets a new sample, analyzes it with an amazing chemical detector upstairs, right? It's olfactory region, and does it at five times a second. On average, a dog, when it's sniffing for something, five times a second, repetitive uh, sine wave. So that's what makes the dog this incredible sampling system. It kind of didn't matter the breed of dog. So, so somehow their, their evolution allowed them to figure out, okay, one over five seconds is what I need before I take the next puff, or the next inhale. If the, if the dog had an infinite lung capacity and it just inhaled constantly, it has a very limited reach. But because of this in and out bellows effect, its reach goes up by roughly a factor of 18.